I think the lesson of this bloodbath is you can't use a wild card on class names. For my continuing efforts in trying to build a friendly combine squad, I decided to explore the AI follow entity. I have a headcrab in the scene, he's called Barney C, and I want him to target the existing player and stay near him, so as a sidekick. Hopefully that means he's going to follow me at a certain distance. I have this set to start active. As soon as we launch this map, he should start to follow right away. Okay, so we've jumped in. We've got our friendly head crab. Now hopefully the AI follow should make him follow me right away. Let's see what happens. Hmm, doesn't seem to have done anything. Since that didn't seem to work, I wondered if it had to do with the start active. I decided to give the AI goal follow a name and trigger it. And you can see how to use triggers in the last video. I'm hoping that by triggering the follow behavior with an actual trigger using that trigger that's in that block in front of me, hopefully that'll kick off the follow behavior. It should have started active. And no, it doesn't. I wonder if headcrabs just don't implement the AI follow routines for some reason. I'm not really having much luck with trying to get the headcrab to follow the player character, and I started to wonder if it was something to do with the headcrabs just not implementing the AI go follow routines or, or something like that. I'm going to drop in a combine soldier instead. I'm going to name him Barney C so he has the same AI follow routines applied to him as a headcrab does. Then when I enter the scene, I'll see how they both behave. It looks like he sort of moved, doesn't it? Well, that's interesting. So I set up a grunt to have the same AI follow as the head crab, the grunt looks like he's fairly happy to follow me around. So that's a pretty good sign. That means I can make my combine squad follow me, but I just can't get the armored head crab to follow me. Even if I put him into alert mode or combat mode, he starts to wander, but he's not wandering towards me, he's just wandering off wherever. Okay, this is a step in the right direction. It must have something to do with the implementation of the headcrab AI. A nice feature of this tool set is that I can set the name of the entities the same as other entities. So in this case, both the head crab and the combine soldier are named Barney 3. I can drop in any number of entities, NPC entities, and call them Barney C, and then all of the AI relationships and the AI go follow is going to apply to them. So the next test is to drop in a bunch of NPCs and see which ones are gonna follow me and which ones aren't. Hopefully in most cases, the class relationship won't override the relationship of the entities, but it still might be a mess if things start to try killing each other. So I'll drop some stuff in, and then I'll go back and set up some relationships to try and make sure that things don't kill each other. I noticed as I was going through all of the NPC entities, some of them I can't spawn into the scene. They just give a big error. So I grabbed a few that would let me spawn and I'm gonna have to go back later. And if anybody knows why that error happens or how you can get around that, please comment below and help me out so I can start to use some of these other NPCs and see how they behave as well. I'm going to try wildcarding the class names in an AI relationship so that all NPCs are friends with each other. So I think the lesson of this bloodbath is you can't use a wild card on class names. So that AI relationship I set up to have all the NPCs like each other, 
It didn't work. It also looks like neither the crow or the citizen want to follow me. Now I'm going to try and kick them into action just by shooting them. Now by default it doesn't look like she does anything. It's also a chance to see what they're... Oh, I can go right through her. That's a bit weird. And our, pro crow, our poor crow didn't do anything either. Okay. So it definitely looks like there's something about the Combine soldiers that implement the AI follow, but the head crabs don't. But I can sort of get around that by setting the head crab to head to a goal and having several different trigger points throughout the level, which would force the head crab to try and get me every time I make some progress in the level. If I ensure that the trigger points are static so they don't go away after they're set off, I could probably get the head crab to follow me back and forth through a level. So let's give that a try. Um, and before I do that, let's see if I can try and get this guy not to kill everybody and check if any of those entities would have followed me. Okay, here we are. I think I managed to make everybody friends. I'm not sure what that guy's doing, but let's move ahead and see what follows me and what doesn't. So it looks like out of all those different NPCs I was able to spawn in, this guy is still the only one that's going to follow me. Now, even if I change them into a different mode here, so let's just make them into combat mode. Okay, let's see where they're going here. I thought for a second he was actually following me, but he's just going towards the sound, it seems. Hmm. My head crabs are just head off on their own to do whatever head crabs do. Okay, so I think that settles it. There's definitely something that these NPCs don't implement that this one does. I'm pretty sure now I've got everything I need to build a squad, put it into an existing map, and wire everything up so that they follow me through the map and clear it. I'm going to use some AI scheduled scripts to get the head crabs and other NPCs to follow me around the map. I'm going to use the AI follow routines to get the combine soldiers to follow me through the map. And the AI relationships are going to make sure that they don't kill each other, but they do kill any opposing forces in the map. I'm not sure which map I'm going to pick yet, if I'm going to build my own or if I'm going to use an existing map, but that should be coming soon. It might be a little while before I have it ready though. I'm going to get working on that, but in the meantime, there is a playlist with the other videos in the series. You can check those out if you haven't yet, which shows you how I got to this point. If you're enjoying the series, consider subscribing, liking, commenting. If there are other things you'd like to look at, I've been focusing kind of on the AI because that's where my interest is, but let me know what sorts of things you're having trouble with inside of the Alex workshop and I can take a look and see if I can make a tutorial to help you out. So thank you again for watching and good luck with your Alex mods.